get a check of the fire situation with Jeff. Uh, it's going to warm up again. We had a brief cool down today, but it seems like temps are rising again. Yeah, some of the smoke is limiting a little bit of the heating, so we did have less wind today, uh, but overall relatively warm in the fire lines with the low humidity, and that's why this fire does continue to spread. So let's bring you into the overall pattern of what we're watching right now, and I did want to let you know we're also going to see a change in the upper level of the atmosphere that might actually bring some greater amounts of smoke uh, through the greater Bay Area as we move through the next 24 hours. We have this area of high pressure moving to the east, circulating around this could funnel back some of the smoke. Some of the smoke that had been heading towards the east may actually switch back uh, and kind of boomerang back towards us as we move through tomorrow. So we are watching that increase in smoke. You can see in the smoke model forecast here, once we hit 730 tomorrow morning, the worst of that smoke over the North Bay, then as we head through tomorrow afternoon, watch the red and the purple colors, and you can see how that smoke would build back closer towards the East Bay, also the South Bay as well. So on my air Air quality forecast tomorrow. The most unhealthy would be over the North Bay and the East Bay, uh, but everybody really looking at unhealthy air as we move through tomorrow. I want to give you another perspective on, down on the fire lines. I've got this more top down view from what I showed you earlier, and you can just see how great this fire perimeter has grown. Great as in size, massive uh, with this wind switch now to the west southwest. Even though it's not gusty, it did help to push the fire, unfortunately. Uh, real close to Calistoga overnight and just out here towards Angwin as well. So we likely will see more fire growth here towards Angwin as we head through uh, tonight and the early morning hours. And you can also see that fire perimeter that's grown here near St. Helena. Now tomorrow winds not that gusty, uh, only 5 to 20 miles per hour. Sustained winds right around 7, but we are looking at 90 degrees and humidity of 28%, 0% contained 42,000 acres burned right across the Bay Area. Temperatures will remain hot here inland. Have it up to 97 in Clear Lake, 93 Napa. Also upper 90s, Concord, Livermore, Antioch. Down to San Jose, 89 closer to the Bay. Not as warm, 82 in Oakland, 86 Palo Alto. And right up against coastline, 69 Half Moon Bay and 70 in San Francisco. My extended forecast does show some changes. Once we hit this weekend, we'll see a cooler, very weak system approach the coast. This would drop us down to 68 on Saturday in San Francisco with 60s into early next week and also some promising news on our temperatures for the inland valley forecast we will go from those upper 90s to about 100 next couple of days down to some 80s once we hit Saturday and Sunday and we will likely continue that trend into next Monday and also Tuesday's forecast. Thankfully, the wind again did die down today, but uh, this firefighting effort obviously is far from over with the, the heat and low humidity next couple of days.